God bless Senator Lindsey Graham, who has moral clarity when it comes to supporting Israel and her operation in Rafa and throughout Gaza. Have a look at his conversation with a presenter on Meet the Press, where he's talking about Biden's conditional support for Israel. Historians would say, why is it okay for Reagan to do it and not President Biden? But let me ask you about Well, why is it okay? Deal. Well, can I say this? Why is it okay for America to not to, to drop two nuclear bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki to end their existential threat war? Why was it okay for us well, to do that? I, I thought it was okay. To Israel, do Senator, whatever you have to do to survive as a Jewish state. Senator, again, military officials say whatever the technology you have to do. has changed. But let me ask you about how yeah, all these of military this could officials impact. that you're talking let me, about. Let me ask you are something. Full of crap. Let me look. War is a horrible, tragic business, but we have to have moral clarity because otherwise we just fall apart. Moral clarity, or at least Jewish moral clarity, dictates that when you have an existential or security threat on your doorstep that you certainly didn't provoke but that is provoking you and that is harming you you have a moral duty to get rid of the threat to ensure that you have long lasting peace and that's absolutely moral and if enemy civilians die well they can surrender to you they in some ways have a responsibility and a duty to try and resist the forces that are causing these problems and causing these conflicts and if there's nothing they can do well they should try to do all they can to get out of harm's way but israel cannot be held hostage by the enemy hiding among them because then all terrorists will do that all enemies of decency will do that and just as Lindsey Graham said, just as in previous wars, civilians died, but it was a just cause. So too the same thing here. If you say, well, you're just going to have to accept that you can't get rid of the enemy because they're hiding among people who aren't directly involved. Well, then they win. It's that simple. For whatever you need to do to, to create long-lasting peace, and however high the death toll is going to be in that regard, it's justified. In fact, I would go a step further. If you only go 80% of the way to defeating the enemy, but you stop there, as some military experts, as Graham says, are suggesting, then actually all those that did die, tragically, died in vain. Because you didn't create peace. By the way, if it only takes one death to create peace, then two deaths are immoral. But so too, if it takes many, many more to create peace, to create deterrence, then so be it. This is a messy, difficult, painful world, a world in which until Moshiach comes, until the world is godly and good in its entirety, there is pain and there is difficulty and there is war on all levels. By the way, all of us are engaged in a war in some level in our daily lives. War means I want to battle against things that are a problem in this world. We all do that in our daily lives. We're all trying to do things to make this world better. We're all engaged in a war. This is the most brutal and gruesome and bloody form of it. And it's awful. And we yearn and pray for the day where all war comes to an end. As Isaiah the prophet said, where we beat our swords, swords into plowsheds. That's what we want. But until such a time, we do sometimes have to fight. A literal war and that means bloodshed but the moral way to do it is to be comprehensive and to seek long lasting peace any other way no matter how much of an expert you are 
actually just exacerbates the problem. Hi, thank you so much for watching. To watch another one, click here. To stay up to date with all our content, click here to subscribe. And if you're able to, you can help support JTV to grow and grow by clicking join below this video, where you can become a member and get perks, including early access to videos and private live discussions with me. But most of all, you'll be partnering with us on our mission to change the world.